So these were pretty simple simulations of rolling dice and tossing coins and so on. Um, more interesting one. So my idea is, we, or the scenario is, that we're going to have uh, families of children. Same um, kind of idea that you can have an equal likelihood of getting a, a girl or a boy. And I guess the question could be something like, okay, if you are going to keep having children until you have at least one boy, say, uh, which is culturally a thing that might well happen, um, then how how bad could it be? How many girls are you likely to end up with? So we're going to simulate having a family until you have a boy, which, you know, talking to a class, you can talk about how hard that is to actually do a simulation or gather real data. So how are we going to do this? So we need um, some values. We need a random one to two. That's boy or girl, I guess. And um, I'm going to need a variable, which is going to be a family size variable. Um, so we're just going to add one each time. So if we just do a straightforward if statement. So if um, if it's equal to was equal to equal to if this random number equals one. Um, actually, no, that's not the best way to do it. We'll do it as a repeat until. So repeat until. There we go. So repeat until we get a one out of this. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to just add one to our family size variable. Where is that gone? Uh, change family size. family size. Did I make family size? My variable total dice. Did I make a variable for that? I don't remember now. Let's try that one more time. Family size. Okay. Oh, did I make a list? I might have made a list. I made a list, didn't I? Alright, so change family size by change family size by one. So it's going to keep going round and round, adding one to this value until we get a two, at which point we've got our boy, I guess, is the way to, to put it. And then we can say, right, how many do we get? So family size, I've just clicked on that. Um, and I'm expecting to see family size go up, up over here. Oh yeah, it was just like some quite low numbers and high numbers. Probably is we're not resetting the family size variable, so we should always do that before we begin. And then to see what we get, family size 2, family size 1. Uh, I think we'll start off with the family size as 1, because this is like the next child. So we're always going to have at least one child. So that's... anyway. So then we're going to do the same thing um, as before, in that we're going to... say Remember down here, we took the value at any particular position and we added one to it. So we took what was in there, added one to it, and then replaced it back into that position. So we need a list for results. So family size results. I could just use the other one, couldn't I? Never mind. Uh, family size results. And can I just delete this one? Can I delete? Make a block, delete a block. Make a list, delete a list. Doesn't seem to be an option, does it? Oh, well, never mind. We just kind of hide that. Gone. Uh, family size results. So let's populate it with effectively zeros. We'll go up to a fairly large number. Interesting question is how high do you have to go? I guess that's kind of the whole point of it. Um, so if I run... Ah, yeah, I was going to do this one. Can I just nick this one? I might just duplicate that and then use that down here. So replace item, so total dice isn't going to be it, it's going to be family size and it's not going to be 2D, it's going to be family size results. Yeah, that was quick. Uh, so that will do it. So if I just click on this one, we can see we've got a family size of 3, 4, 
I'm a size of one. So I was straight into a, a boy there. And yeah, it seems to be doing what we would expect. And then the same thing as before in a control loop, repeat. Uh, let's just repeat. Let's do that. Let's have a thousand families and see where we get up to. All right, so out of those family, five, thousand families, 521 was just like straight away we had the boy. Um, and then you can see that some of the families got quite big. So like six girls before they had the, well, five girls before they had the boy. No, sorry, 13 girls before they had, wait, wait, 13 times it happened that they had five girls before they had a boy. Gotcha, right. And then uh, what's the worst? The worst of the family size of 11. You know, let's go big. 10,000. Is that 100,000? Where are we getting to down here? So the biggest family was they had 15 girls before they had a boy. And that happened twice. Lucky people. So there you go, a relatively complex um, probability simulation. And it's not a lot of code. It's just quite, you kind of have to have done it before to be able to write it quickly and easily like I did. Hope that's helpful.